Hello and welcome to Chariot. This is me joined by Mr. Quentin Smith. Hello, Matthew. And you've been talking about this Chariot game to me. And I I absolutely have. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to join me on a journey to do with Chariots. This is a really great co-op game that I've been oh, loving. Oh, you've started oh, it without me. What you've done, that I think you'll be able to drop right in. Like, I hope so. Like, Hopefully my controller will work. I forgot to test that before we started. <laughs> okay, well I'm going to keep talking on the assumption that it will. This is a game where uh, your dad's dead. Hooray! And you play his daughter trying to take him to his resting place. Uh, let's see if you can drop in. There you go! Yes! You are my fiancé, Matthew. Jesus. And what This got heavy quickly. What we're doing here, Hill, I'm going to push this towards you. And you're going to use right trigger to rope it. And you can pull it around. Okay, so... I see, so... Ooh, ooh. I see, so... Oh, right, oh up you, you get, can rope up you it get, from up anywhere. You get, up you get. Uh -huh. So it's like a grappling hook. And our object... We're not really the character in this. The dead dad is the character. And we're just trying to take it through the level. So what I'm doing there... Ooh. Is our dead dad the king? Your yes. dead dad. Yes, my dead I'm dad. Just you're, you're, just, you're just a sort of... Uh, scrub. Am I a gold digger? You might well be. So, um... <laughs> So now, what you're going to do as well is, once you rope it, use the left bumper, or the left uh, L1, I guess. So rope it, and then you you can you, basically you can use the bumpers to reel in the rope or let it out with the two left uh, left triggers. I see. So if you pull it now, then you give it some reel, give it some slack. With the, so you need to keep it held down and then give it slack, and then you can run off. I and see. And that is very important to all the puzzling. Uh, oh, good. See, so I can give it some... Oh, I see what the little nodes are now. Of course, they are literally like... It creates a kind of analogue system. It yep. turns a rope into an analogue system. It does! Uh, so now... How is our, your <laughs> dead dad collecting things? Well, this is the entire nut of Chariot. Because, oh, if you reel it in, reel it... Oh, oh hang oh, on. If I reel it in at this point, <laughs> I'm reeling me off a cliff. You are. If you hold down as well, once you're stood, then you can... Oh, if you let go... Okay. If you hold down, you anchor yourself to the ground. Although to get up, I'm going to need to give you some slack. And you need to jump on the chariot. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to reel it in. Okay. And you see? You see how it's, it's kind of nice. It it's is nice. It's kind of satisfying. Grab it. Got it. So, oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, reel it in. There you I go. I to anchor myself. Oh, fuck. I'll see. I'm picking up on you. Okay, right. Well. Okay. So the whole, the whole thing is that we can't collect gems. Even we don't get attacked by monsters. It's only ever my dad. Um, who does all of those things. Ah, oh, look, and now... Why do you always have to bring your dad on our dates? Wait, come here, come here, come here, boy, because here's what we've got. This is one of the first puzzles. Chariot's actually kind of a family game, which is very, very, very easy. But then there are these bits, which are kind of the game. These are the, the big gems. You see the gem in the wall here? Yeah. This is our first difficult puzzle. We need to get that gem, which means we need the chariot. Probably if I'm standing here and you're standing there... Oh, actually, this is going to be a piece of bits, isn't it? So hold, your, hold down. I'm doing. Okay. I'm pulling it in. Now I need to... There we go, here we go. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there! I'm just... ah! <laughs> there you go. That was an easy one, but they get very, very, very hard. Ah! I'm just dragging you along on your dead... It's good, dad. isn't it? I can't get... I Away, can't, Sir Matthew! I can't quite get over the fact that... That it's my dead dad. you brought your dead dad on a date. <laughs> on a date. The game kind of glosses over it. Like, it's like, the king's dead. Anyway, here's a cool chariot. And then you're like, is my dad in there? Oh, yeah, we can't actually. Okay. Oh, you see? This is a puzzle. Here, go over there. I see, I see. I uh, nice. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm guessing you can play this on your own. You can, and that involves things like, uh, I've only unlocked one item, which is a peg. But I peg it into the ground, and then now I can kind of jump. And I can depeg. Um, and if you're by yourself, it involves a lot more kind of using know. items. First your dead dad, now pegging. This date, is, <laughs> this date has got insane Look, fast. If you want to roll with me, you've got to be able to handle that's pegs and death. <laughs> oh, that was an extremely not family safe joke, I apologise. Anyway, um... <laughs> Oh, look, you see that star? Oh, I keep forgetting to grab Matthew Lees! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically a game where... I drop things off a cliff. That is, it is dropping things off cliff, the game. I uh, do like the little... Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, come with me. Just. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll come with you. Okay, I want to say that this is going to be a tricky part. Can you, can you come? I'm in? really enjoying the fact that the gormless face on this character pretty much sums <laughs> me up perfectly. It's really good. The nice thing is that if the girl is riding on the chariot and presses down, she kind of surfs it. But if you, if you do it, if you do the same thing, if you jump onto the chariot... And, <laughs> yeah, you just cower in, in horror. Come on, Sir Matthew. Okay, reeling it in. I'm reeling it in. Reeling it in. Oh, yeah. He's reeling it in. 
See, it's just really nice and kind of... Okay, right, so we got a tricky puzzle here. Matthew, come up. I mean, this is very early in the game, like, so it This may... is only, like, World 1 as well. So it may it may actually get <coughs> tricky. It may get this pretty still, tricky. This is still tutorial stuff, isn't it? Uh, this is... Yeah, we're still in World 1. But, but this it... is telling us how to anchor. So, here, yeah, which I told you. So here's the thing. Um, I... Do you see why this is a puzzle? I'm going to walk off, and then you're going to grab it before it falls off, all right? You bet. And you have to be anchored. I'm serious. you got to be anchored, Matthew. Oh, no! Enemies! Okay, just hold it. Yeah, good. Reel it in. Thing is, I actually can't get up here. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm just going to wait here. Okay, what you've done there, you may have goofed... Because I can't leave it. Okay, you know what? Drop it, because I realised I actually can't leave. What do you mean you can't leave? I can't get up this thing without the chariot. The platform on the right. Drop it. Drop it, fella. I don't want to drop it. You have to! Oh. Otherwise, I'm stuck. What a waste. I know, I'm sorry. I messed that up. That was on me. But now we got this. Okay. So we're going to try that again. Right, okay. I don't really know quite how we're going to do it. Aside from... I'm going to... Good, good. Anchor, anchor. I'm anchored. I'm Reel anchored. it in. Reel it in. Okay, one sec. I'm, there you go. I struggle to do more than one thing at a time. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Now... Okay. Now you... Can, no. you, can you walk to the left? Good. Good. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, can you climb upwards? Um, Hold up on the pad. There you go. Now jump to the thing on the left. Now grab it. And anchor yourself for the love okay, of God. Okay, okay, I'm anchored. I'm okay, good. <laughs> okay, is, uh, reel it in, fella. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's why people call me Matt, Matt Really Lees. Matt Really Lee. Okay, now jump to the thing. Jump to the thing. I'm, okay. I'm anchored. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm God. Anchored. Okay, good. Oh, oh no, not, no, 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 no
Ah, oh dear. It's resting your dad on my head. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to do something a bit trickier? Always. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. It's a in bad a, start. In a minute. Right, so if you grab that. And, okay, now what you want to do is you want to jump. Give it some slack. And then, yeah, you want to jump on that green platform up there. How oh, good. Nice and anchored. You're anchored, right? Uh-huh. Okay, now give it a bit more slack. You see? You see what we're doing here? Oh, I see. Ah! Okay. Okay, I'll, okay I'll do it I got more, this. as much slack as I can. I got this. You can do this. Just press... Okay, I need... Reel yourself in and it hops I, you on top. I, I'm not... You need, it needs to be a bit higher. There we go. Okay. I don't think I can make that jump. I'm going to give it some... I'm going to push it. I think I need to anchor myself a bit further out. I got this. Fuck. <laughs> You've got it swinging, though. you got it yeah, swinging. Yeah, I can't get... Ah! Nice. Right, okay, now. You got good. it? I'm anchored. I'm going to let go. Good. Good. Okay. okay. Good. <laughs> good. Good. Okay. Now you're going to need to jump onto that and then anchor and grab it. Uh, okay. Oh, no! Can you make it? I oh how <laughs> okay I'm just gonna hang here you'll respawn eventually oh don't let me die down here I'll tell you what I could peg it here I could peg it but what and then your dad's dissing me what did he say he said are you sure he's the right man for you oh, that's, a, that's a good question <laughs> oi no I sorry anyway where, where were we okay why don't do don't you, mess it up this time do you always, just drop onto the thing why do you always have to side with your dead dad is this gonna be like the time you asked why I was calling you my dad's name in bed because <sighs> I'm so done with having that argument I'm so sick of it it's not normal if you reel it in now if you reel him in <laughs> just hold it hold who's a good dad it's my dad thanks dad dad's great uh so if we <laughs> If we go up here. What does that mean? The two star symbol. Um, I can't remember. I think it's like a it's a, dif a second exit or it's a two star difficulty challenge, but I'm just kind of curious to get to another world and see see what awaits. Yeah, sure. Come on to oh yeah, because dad can't go through the blue. Alright, I'll leave this to you. Okay. I got this. Me and dad go way back. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I like I like the idea that wouldn't be true for somebody. <laughs> oh, me and my dad, we go way back. Honestly, go I've known the... him since like pff, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so dreamy and handsome. Uh, yeah, let's. I'm I'm sick of this this beginner world. Let's. All right, let's just plow through, plow through. Come on, the. <laughs> That's what I love to do more than anything. I love when me and my dad are just plowing along. Oh, oh, nice. You see that? It was like Indiana Jones, but with a dead dad. Yeah. Duh, duh, duh. Duh, 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 duh. Matt, this isn't Indiana Jones. <laughs> no, I was doing Indiana Jones and you changed it. Dun, 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 with your dad. Dun, 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 with your dad. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, You're the dad. Oh, hang on. We need it. We Ooh, need this is an advanced time. dad technique. <laughs> oh, good lord. Do try and keep it family safe, Quentin. Okay. Okay. Give it some momentum. That's what they always say to me. That's my middle name. Dad momentum leads. Matt, give it some momentum leads. Look, it's the exit. We made it. Just me and my dad and I guess you. And then you can do it as a speed run, but really for me, what this game is about are those tricky Welcome puzzles, back. which we did. So, how are you the royal so far? Oh god, what an unlocked his knob. Is we it? unlocked it. So then this is a shop where you can unlock additional uh, dad gear and you can pimp your dad. <laughs> so we've got, we've got one half of the blueprints required to give dad a lantern. Pimp yo dad! Come on now. Is your dad a scrub? <laughs> Does your dad need... Uh, you want to play with the peg this time? Wheels? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Grim, grim, grim. Does your dad need wheels? The answer to which is always yes. <laughs> oh, this looks. This is some advanced dad. How is the suspension on your dad? <laughs> Does your dad need a new paint job? What I love is that we've currently identified that the dad thing is massively messed up. And I found that he's your dad and you're the fiancé kind of on the... Ooh, dad buttons. Um, <laughs> all this stuff on the uh, on the game's about page. 
Because <laughs> I think they, they did this thing of like, oh, take the king, who's your dad, through a thing. And they kind of realized it's a bit messed up. So it's kind of buried in the game's lore, and the game sort of tries not to make you think about it, really. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's kind of less weird if you're like, you know, just taking your, your ghost dad on your own. I think it's when, it's when you bring your fiancé along. That's, <laughs> that's when it gets a bit weird, I think. Because suddenly it's like, it is like a date. It, There's no denying it. It's pretty cathartic, though. I mean, for me, yeah. Like Although, a, actually, maybe yeah, it's just more of like, I suppose it felt like a date, but now it's more of an adventure. Like, I've, I'm beyond the date phase now. Well, I mean, isn't this the most cathartic thing for you? Because you technically get to, like, not just bury your in-laws, but actually... Uh, you definitely... Actually bash them into walls and stuff. Oh, you definitely you get... That? So we get the last gem. Nice. Yeah. You definitely get some uh, some pretty top draw um, boyfriend points for this, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is like going to the funeral, but but also the funeral is up a mountain and... This thing is needlessly complicated. Can you get it out there? I think so. Yeah. Oh, hot gems. I'm getting the hang of this now. The one thing that does bum me out about this game is like clearly in a co in the co-op mode, getting all the gems and getting a ton of money is exciting. But, oh, you, you, you obsessive. So getting all the gems. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> getting all the gems is clearly exciting. Get it up there, Matthew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, getting all the gems is good, but um, but there's not really much to spend them on. Is the only problem. Like, you can't spend them on, like, custom paint jobs and stuff. They wouldn't require that much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get some massive uh, aluminium re a speaker rims. system. Uh, I want to get some... up the base on the game. Surely you can get some hot new soundtrack. rims for that, for your dad. I want to say he does, he's, one of the unlocks is going to oh, be special Jesus, wheels. Oh, Jesus, first pegging, but... now rims. Oh, this is... <laughs> this uh, is hitting all the joke points. Oh, God, it's an adventure. Wait, I can do this. No, I can't. Sugar buns. You can fight with square. With your sling. I've got a slingshot. You sure do. What's that, B? Oh, that kills you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, no. It's fine. I'm dead now, but it's fine. You are dead. Good thing that didn't happen to... Oh, wait, my dad's already dead. My dad is well dead. Well dead, Dad. If he's not dead, he would be after us bashing him off walls and stuff. Anchor? You'll be. See, it's tricky. It's really interesting that you ca Whoa! that you just kind of have to hold two buttons at once. Yeah, it's, it's kind of it's just tricky enough. I find that it's that kind of don't drop it, don't drop it. Have you got it? Don't drop it. Yeah, it, it, I'm starting to get a feel for it now. But at first, admittedly, it was pretty tricky. Like kind of reminding myself to do a couple of things at once. And I think like the fact that I have a slingshot for killing enemies, but. I think there was enough going on with just the sort of simple mechanic of you are doing this <laughs> chariot thing that I just hadn't even bothered to explore all of the buttons. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need it. I didn't need to. Well, we did skip the first few levels. Uh, but yeah, the monsters do feel definitely kind of tight. Oh, look, there's gems up there we could have got. How do we, we open this bloody door? Wait, did we miss the button? Is there a button that we... Oh, it's right here. It's right there. Did we jump over the button? Maybe it's a timer button. Oh, it must be a timer. Go, go, go. Yeah, it is. Dad traveling at top speed. Your dad is traveling Pretty, get at on the, the get speed on the dad. of light. Get on the dad. We have him there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dad! <laughs> we definitely had some instinctive uh, platformer response to that, didn't we? Where we're going off a cliff and you jump off the platform, but then your pla the platform is your dad. Marty, we need to ride your dad like a skateboard. There's no time to lose. We haven't got time for questions. What a dark future that would be. <sighs> okay, hang on. We need to press that button to do that. There must be another button. I think you're gonna have to solve something. Solve something. Oh! I got this. I got this. You got, got it? This. I got this. Hot damn. I was really expecting it to just go plummeting into that gap. Alright, now push it back. I can get that, I can get that, I can get that. I you can get it, you can do it! I don't think it's a timed one, but I like the way that we did it with a sense of... With, with speed and urgency. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely nice the way the things in walls just kind of rub for a while. There must be stuff you can spend all this money on. Maybe you just haven't got to it yet. Oh! Sorry. You pegged me. I did. Again. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only thing that's differentiating... Oh, yeah, oh let's not go towards bat. 
the only thing that's differentiating this game from like a properly hard thing is like friendly fire just that the chariot would run people over oh god yeah that would be horrendous and you... I do like that in these bits it's sort of that thing of it doesn't really matter who's doing what yeah one person yeah, no, can it's, just it's really oddly pleasant for a co-op game that one person pulls and the other actually rides it <clears throat> okay hang on where are we going where are you taking us taking us up here okay oh I accidentally pegged it <sighs> said the lady to the bishop <laughs> do, do, do. Where are we going? I think we need to get up here. Oh yeah, we do. And then you need to have super slack. I get Does it. Does it go through? Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll go through there. Okay, hang on. But then we wait. can go through. If you go through? Here. Can you jump along that? Yeah, nice. Oh wait, I need to go as well. But I don't think we've pushed it far. Oh, enough. bollocks. Okay, I got this. What a nice puzzle game. Ah. Ooh. I got it. I got it. We got this. Don't go worrying about your dead dad. Oh, I see, because it would fall into the hole with the enemies. Uh, and I see the enemies get activated by the noise. When it hits the ground, it makes a blue yeah, wave, which yeah. is like... Oh, I get that. And it then is. it wakes up the bats. <laughs> you know, this reminds me a lot of a kind of like... Okay, hang on. How are we going to Mega Drive era puzzler in a really nice way. You know? Do you remember how there was a, a kind of a, a, a lot of... Oh, on the Mega Drive snares, there was a lot of like puzzle based platformy games and some of them were co-op and sort of a bit weird and gentle. You now remember that whole era of weird stuff like Pugsy and Wiz and Wiz and Woz or what was it called? Wiz, Liz and Wiz? You are you just you're just naming random collections of syllables to me now. <laughs> Pugsy, Wiz and Bizzle and, and no, Bozwaz's magical it was adventure. Liz and Wiz or Wiz, <laughs> Li, Wizzy and Lizzy or I sincerely hope that They were both you're uh, in, Oh oh dad travelling at max speed. It's gonna be a, a sweet jump at the end. Whoa. Ben James can't even keep up with us, man. Wait, I didn't... <laughs> it's fine. Just ride the dad wave. That was pretty rad. That's pretty cool, yo. Oh, hey, it's a piece for dad. We now have to take dad to the to the factory. What? <laughs> this is... That box contains um, a an upgrade for dad. Oh, no, no, no. Dad needs to be right way up. Good. Let's just let him stabilise for a bit. Yeah, he needs to stabilise. So we actually are pimping your dad. We re I'm, I wasn't kidding. Yeah, there are sweet rims and stuff. Not rims, but like the first <laughs> part. <laughs> there will be. There blatantly will be sweet rims. Uh, Those wheels are a bit <laughs> Yeah, they're a bland. bit. I know. There are like seven different upgrades you get. as what. Well. So you get items like the peg. Can we get base reflex speakers for your dad? I sincerely hope so. I mean, if I was designing this game, no joke, I would put in a thing that increases the bass on the game's soundtrack, like, to ridiculous <laughs> degrees. <laughs> which which would be funny, because the soundtrack is clearly, like, all loots. Oh, here we go. This is it. Oh, well, it's, I was avoiding it, because it looked dangerous. No, it's the thing that unpacks the box. That is dangerous. That's it's not how pretty you, dangerous. It's not how you unpack the fallen into there. So we've got a part for the something. Well, we'll find out. Oh, look, there's a difficult thing up there. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't know how we go there. Uh, can you make that jump? Oh, can you make that jump? No. How could you? How could you do that? Oh, God. Okay, you ready to stand on it? I think we're going to need some speed. Go to, right to the edge of Dad. Okay. That's not going to work, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. I wonder if we need an item for that. God, I can't. Oh, wait. Unless we would... Unless we... No, because there's a pit right there. Oh, unless you stand underneath it. Unless we peg it. No. Oh, look, 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 there, there. What? Look, it's on your head. Oh, so nearly. Can you jump? <laughs> try harder! <laughs> I am trying hard. Oh, I think man. we need to try and peg launch it. Oh, wait, that was good. Peg launch it? Yeah. Oh, that was it. That, there we go. Hang on. What, you want me to peg it? Yeah, peg it. And then... No, no. Peg it back here. Peg it back here. Peg it back here. And then maybe get some tension. The peg has a massive cooldown. <laughs> Oh, does it? Get some oh, what? So we just... You reckon? Maybe. Okay. Um, so it's I'm, I'm at max speed. So you want, you want me to de-peg? Stand on it and de-peg it and see what happens. Wait, it doesn't have any momentum. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, oh, This is like... I kind of, th These are the bits that I like in the game where it's just sort of like fannying around with rudimentary physics. See, look, this is when it... When, when we tip it up on its edge. When it goes edge... No, hang on. Like, I can make it go on its edge if you support it and I kind of squeak, if you, if you push down. 
If you anchor, go on the other side. No, the other side. <laughs> the other other side. So if you anchor, then I can put... You anchoring? I'm um, anchoring. Okay. There is a way to get it all like that. Yeah, maybe we just don't have an item. Oh no, wait, here we go here. Hmm. Yeah, hang on. If you... Stand on it. If I can, if we can make it go on its end. There, 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 you can make it, you can make it! Yeah! Okay, grab it. Nice. Okay, right. Nice, okay. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, I see actually now the signs if, probably... Yeah, if you let go. Like, telling you where, where you've got to start. Oh, oh sugar bonds, oh. I forgot to answer. <laughs> I forgot you see, okay, now this, this is proper chariot. This is why I like this game, that kind of... Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Okay, I'm tethered. Yeah, if you, if I think you... we can't get over there without standing. Okay, there, I can. Right? What I can do is if you you need to pull it off the edge. Okay, and but I'll you need to jump off. And I will. Then... I will. I'll grab it. Don't worry. Oh, I'm nervous. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, got good. It. Okay, lower it down. Wrong way. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Oh no! Don't. I need okay. to. I need to stand up as well. Okay. Wait for it to stop. <laughs> I think it needs to Your be hands there. producing abnormal levels of like grime because um, I find this game makes my hands sweat more than it is quite anything. intense. Okay, good. Can you make that jump? Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna just pull it up, yank it up. Oh, I don't want to do. It should it. be fine if you fall off the edge. It'd be fine because okay, you can just. No! <gasps> well, at least I can wipe my hands now. I forgot to anchor. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do oh. that again, but real quick. Jesus. Welcome to Chariot. Please enjoy oh, your stay. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. I'm glad you got to experience the crushing defeat of having to do all this shit again. Okay. It's funny how quickly you can do it as well. I need you to pull it up a bit. Oh. Okay. You can jump. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yank it out. Yank it out. Okay. If you want, okay, I get it. If you want to, wait. I'm going to pull it off. And then yeah, you... I need to. Oh, okay, which of us is jumping? I'm going underneath. Just get it over my head. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, lower it. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, help. Okay. I almost wish you hadn't. hadn't. <laughs> well, it's just... Just because then it wouldn't have made me feel so stupid for not anchoring. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna okay, pull I'm it ready. off. I'm ready. You ready this time? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, pull it up. It's the because thing... you're anchoring. See, that's you can like squeeze it. Oh, I see, I see, I see, yeah. Okay, lower it. And you've actually sort of busted it. Oh, that's no, fine, it's, it's fixed okay. itself. <laughs> it's fixed it. It's fixed itself. It is on the wrong side now. In the wrong way. Okay, what I need you to do is, yeah, pull it all the way up. Because I need you to jump off. No, you need to... You need to get up here. <laughs> okay. And grab it. Okay. Okay, that's designed such that I don't think we can... Can you pull me through? I don't think I can. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I Matthew, think... get back on. Get back on, get back on. Because this is... The level's designed such that no one can squeeze through. I can't get back. Ah! I, can't get back. I can't get back. We just need to... Okay, 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 fine. We just need to just accept that that's not going to happen. That is a shame. We could have done that. I know. So, um, did you find that before we went out, you screwed things up as well? No. Yeah? I don't screw things up. Is that, you're not one of those people who just kind of ruins things. Listen, I'm just under a lot of pressure at the moment, and it's kind of a stressful time, and a weird You time. want to talk to me, because, you know, it's just, it's my dad who's dead over there. I know your dad's dead. But, you do go on about it a lot. Well, I think that's incredibly disrespectful of you. Well, I'd listen, you can I, pull me from the chariot for a while. I appreciate, but you know, it's it's sort of the reminder of it is he's sort of always, always with us. <laughs> I just don't feel like there's we need to talk about it all of this. This time. definitely would be a better game if like the plot wasn't you have to go bury your dad, but you're just going on a picnic and your fiance is taking her dad in, her dad with you, and she wants to go to the uh, the furthest point in the realm. You'd have to really like someone to put up with that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. I bet you there's lots of tasty gems up there. I reckon this is the path. Right. Well, we need we need two switches. It's the door. It's 
probably Amazon parcels for me. My never-ending flow of Amazon parcels. That's a really good way to be. Though. I like to receive gift presents from Amazon. I actually feel like every day is my birthday. It's my house full of cardboard. Yeah. Do you want to drop off and I'll grab it? Just pull it off. Walk it off. Just you can trust me. <laughs> I do. I was just doing some rad moves. Okay, I'm just gonna walk off. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> that requires such trust. Oh, uh, help. Okay. Walking off. <laughs> Jesus, there is nothing scarier than that. Come on, hop up. Okay. See, this is what I like, man. This is It's the... I'm doing a video on this, but so often co-op games are really just like two people playing a single player game at the same time, you know? Mm. They're designed from the ground up. So rarely do you require the just ludicrous trust exercise of stepping off a platform and trusting your friend will catch you, you know? And knowing that sometimes they won't just to troll you. <laughs> yeah, which is, I mean, it's nice that the first thing you get is just, you know, something you can use to troll your friends. Yeah, you're kind of right. I mean, I guess a lot of games use friendly fire as like a thing of being like, oh, you know, oh, you can you can troll your friends by hurting them, but then actually ends up being really annoying and something you want to switch off. Yeah, slightly can, passive aggressive. It can get in the way of the game, whereas I really enjoy like... I think my favourite co-op mechanic of all time was in Gunstar Heroes. Oh, throwing each, yeah, throwing each other. Yeah, throwing each other, because it was sort of like, it was sort of annoying and disrespectful, because you were literally just taking control away from your, your, your friend, or, you know, whoever you're playing with, which was like, hey, what are you doing? But at the same time, you couldn't ever really be really annoyed at it, because it did so much damage that it was like, <laughs> it was like the most effective way to kill all of the bosses in the game, so it just became this sort of thing of being like, Hey, hey, and you were—you were—they were throwing you into the boss repeatedly, but then you were trying to throw them into the boss as well, so you didn't really begrudge it. Sure, yeah. It's—I uh... mean, it's just a sort of amount of playfulness I think that needs to be in the design of good co-op games. It reminds me of you know, like obviously, <clears throat> I feel like it's difficult to talk about clever co-op games without talking about magic or a bit. Just ah, oh, I, I got you, I got you, Sorry, I got you. Because there's so much power in working with your friends in the design of that game. But also so much absurdity. Oh, it's insane. The amount of times you, you just murder each other, like, completely not meaning to. Yeah. Which is... I mean, that's the thing here. It's like a mix of mistakes that are funny, but also mistakes right, that... Right, let's run for it. Let's run for it. Let's run for it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get out of this city <laughs> where <laughs> you dead <laughs> Oh, dead! Deddy! <laughs> no, dad! Deddy. Quick, get, Deddy. Get on him. <laughs> okay. Let's go. This is pretty intense. Take me on a magic dead. Oh, you can tether yourself to him like seatbelts on a roller coaster. Man, tell me, sweetheart, when did you last go on your dead dad for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> Take me down to the very last city where the dads are dead and the boys are gullible. Uh, take me down. It's nice. It is gentle. This it's definitely something which would be fun to play with kids. Because I mean, like, it is fun. It is quite gentle. But I think I I feel oh, like on. it is quite. It's it's like I mean, it's getting to the point now where like the puzzles are getting a little bit repetitive. But it's not a bad thing. I tell you what, this would be great for hangovers. Yeah, sure. Because it's really quite gentle and slow, <laughs> and. I often find myself not knowing what to play when I'm hungover because I can't handle. It's a it's a nice like if your games. friends are asleep on your sofa and they've woken up and you've you've had a sausage yeah. sandwich and then yeah absolutely it's like but the, what I do love I mean it's just like oh if you ah oh, fuck god damn it it's the um, hang on if you swing it over here you, yes uh, I've totally lost my train of thought because I was having too much fun playing chariot. Um, oh, gems. Yeah, it's the nice thing of just like tumbling through these really gentle, easy levels and the car like tumbling end over end over you. And then also just some of the most. Oh, we have to drop it down here and a button down here. Just nightmarishly tricky puzzles that you can do or not. But mm. yeah, when I played this with my first friend, we were just trying to get all of them. And that was really intense. Kind of like properly like ice climbing, making sure you had the grip. And it was just an interesting kind of split. But yeah, it's tough because they've clearly made a family game, but then they want to give it this hardcore element. And I would, I would definitely play this just as a more hardcore game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you had it. I thought you had it. I thought as we you... both watch it roll away. <laughs> okay, 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 got it. 
I got it. Okay, okay. Oh, sh you can do some really cool high jumps as well. With the yeah, there's clearly the thing is, yeah, as you say, it is quite simple, but at the same time, there's clearly a lot of scope. Oh, it doesn't here. fit. All right, there's clearly a lot of scope here for like being able to do some really impressive physics-based stuff. Yeah, especially if you get into a real flow with your partner in terms of releasing and pulling and stuff. There's yeah, a lot this of is it. Mad stuff you could do with this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just I'm not good enough. <laughs> Don't fall through that. That was pretty slick. That was nice. Yeah, it's like you say, it's a flow. I actually think secretly what they've done with this game, because technically the chariot is the protagonist and you're just pulling it around, is they've created a control scheme which is actually two people controlling the same character, but they've used physics shorthand and like ropes and all this stuff to make it immediately understandable. Yeah. Like you and I are technically controlling the chariot together here. We're just doing it in a way that immediately makes sense, you know? Yeah, you're right. In a way, it's like our little characters, our little humans are effectively like, might as well be mouse pointers. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of cute. I think that's a really clever way of doing co-op in a way that's very, very intimate. You and I are controlling the same thing, just... It's incredibly intimate. We're on a date with your dead dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. If you could... I would like some time alone with my dad. Oh, really? A, Again? At this? some point. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Um, you could... I, it's not really my problem. Oh, right, well, I'm gonna leave Quentin to spend some time alone with his dead dad. Oh, wait, let's let's end the video by seeing what we've unlocked for dad. Okay, let's have a look at it in, in the dad shop. In the dad... <laughs> uh, like where Flavor Flav, Flav will talk us through. It's like Top Gear. A Royal Lantern. Upgrade. 